This is a very fun part of the world. Well, that was a descent. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, we are. All right, guys, Brad Friesen, back at the helicopter, going back to the ice caves. Uh, sorry there hasn't been videos for a while. I had to fire my camera guy editor because uh, it was taking so long, but then he refused to be fired. So I still have a camera editor, so videos are coming. But I'm taking a guy today that I've taken one, flying once before, and he does amazing educational videos about crazy places and things, and you might recognize his voice. I should have rehearsed something for this, shouldn't I? Sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to talk to me like that. So Tom, Tom's back. We've done a video once before. I took him up to the Ilaho Wildfire. There's a link in the description below if you want to see that. But uh, we're going to take him to the ice caves because I don't think you've ever been in the I've ice I've never cave. seen the ice caves. Yeah. I know people are like, uh, why do you always go to the same spot? That's part of being a helicopter pilot. And that's how you get people to come with you yeah. is you take them to cool spots. Let's, let's go. go see, let's go some nice guys. All right. Uh, so, do you want to do an orbit around uh, Stanley Park before we head out? If we can, that yeah. would be ideal. Thank you. The the bridge that leads from it. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go. Uh, yeah. So I'll get uh, one orbit of Stanley. And you just want Stanley Park, not Vancouver as a as a whole. I, d I like if it, if it it'll be in the background in some shots, but exactly. No, the, the thing I can remember is Stanley Park. Okay. But I remember playing that little racing game as a kid. And what was the game called? Uh, Need for Speed 2. Need for Speed 2. But yeah, it, so that it, was an EA game. It was, but it was one of the... Because they've done two Need for Speed 2s, so they removed the whole series. Uh, okay. This was the really, really early one on PC. Okay. And I only had the demo version. I had track one, which was Pacific Spirit, which meant nothing to me as a kid growing up in, in the Midlands in England. And, and now it makes sense. This Pacific. Is, it, it's like a child's sketch of Vancouver and the Sea to Sky Highway. Okay. In like a five-minute circuit. Uh, but it was weird, like standing in Stanley Park and going, I've been here. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. So here's uh, Horseshoe Bay here. Here we are. You want to do an orbit around this? Thank you. That is beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're different on camera. <laughs> so do you actually come through like the ferry lineup in the race? No, it's it's that bit just there that I recognize. And through the section we're flying over. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. I am uh, I, I say it all the time, but I am so glad that I born and raised in BC and chose to fly helicopters here because I don't know if I'd be able to handle like being a helicopter pilot in Iowa. <laughs> I'm sure Iowa is beautiful. There's nothing, nothing against the Iowa. I've, I've been there. It's really nice. It is. It, there's some beautiful parts of Iowa, but um, it's just flat. not. It's just not this. Yeah. So no Bentley today. Bentley had major knee surgery. Uh, it's called a TPLO, a tibial plane leveling osteo something. What's what does it mean, osteo? when they like cut something. Anyways, yeah, uh, they literally cut his knee joint off, repositioned it, and then bolted it back together. And uh, the first week was uh, very, very hard. He's a little trooper, man. He's kicking ass, he's not limping. He's, uh, I was saying to, to uh, Tom, if somebody cut my tibia in half, changed the angle of it, and bolted it back together, I, and I'd be on Percocets for, I would not be, my life would suck. Bentley is like, come on, man, like, take me for a walk. Let's go do something, man. Like, what are we doing? Why am I still laying down here? So, money's no object. You have a budget for whatever you want. What video do you make? I mean, it'd be going up to the edge of space. It'd be going up in one of the, okay. uh, the MiGs. Oh, do MiG. the, do okay. the parabolic run. Yeah. So this I think the one that goes really, really high up is no longer an option. Okay. But there are places, I think it's it's either Russia or one of the former Soviet states, 
where you can pay quite a lot of money and you'll be taken up as a passenger in a MiG jet. And you'll get you'll get to you know the operating ceiling. Yeah. And then they'll dip down a little and then they'll put it in full speed up After on burner. a parabolic trajectory. Yeah. That thing where they go like that. Yeah, parabolic. So it will reach the absolute highest it can possibly get to. Um, black overhead instead of blue. Um, curve of the Earth visible below you. And it's been done a couple of times for television. Wait, wait, wait. Curve of the Earth? Oh, don't <laughs> oh, get me started. <laughs> I, I know someone who's had to deal with flat Earthers. You're it's not one of those nice. round... <laughs> You're not one of those round ball... Tell you what, you, you want to put the money forward, I'll take you up there and show you. <laughs> All right, guys, just arrived at the ice cave. We got Tom. We're going to go check it out. Told him not to go in there. I think he's going to do it. I'm, I'm not, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. You, you do not get to disclaim responsibility and then say, oh, but I think he's going to do it. No, no, no. If the recommendation here is don't go in the ice cave, I'm not going in the goddamn ice cave. You know a lot about it more, a lot more about it than I do. I think once you see it, it's you're going to go in. This is totally backfired. This is totally backfired. You know there's snow worms? No worms? They come out at night. Did you see them that one night? No, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you pulling my leg? I am not. Like, honestly, I saw somebody say, there's snow worms here. And so there's this algae bloom that happens in the snow in the summertime. And all of a sudden at night, everywhere, billions of worms come out of the snow and eat the algae. And they live in the snow. But they don't like the light. They come out at night. See, that sounds like rubbish, but I'm going to Google it later and find uh, out. It's right? Good. It could be a video. Did you know <laughs> that there are worms that live in snow and eat algae? Here we go. Oh, so, wow. do not go in here. This is extremely dangerous. You keep saying this, right? I'm, I believe you. So, this is all just pack ice and snow. So, what happens is, is you would get, um, you'd get hundreds of feet of snowfall. Yeah. Packed down and the weight crushes all of the air, all of the um, bubbles, everything gets pushed out and you get left with this super dense ice with really long ice crystals. That's why they love it for scotch and stuff because it takes forever to melt. So yeah, this is snow. This is not water. This is not frozen, you know, like a frozen lake. This yeah. is frozen snow. All right, let's go. He says going into the ice cave. <laughs> Almost a parabolic effect there, but you have the weird, yeah, reflections. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Look at this. Oh. But look at this, like the, the, the weird I know. effect that you have layers and layers and layers, and the refraction so that happens. So when you look, at, close? look at this and then go on the other side of it. Like, yeah. it's so trippy. These because this is water. This is water. So it has that refraction effect because light, the light rays bend. So this is this looks really close and this looks oh, yeah. red. It's a wonderful so effect. What are you guys doing? Holding our breath and listening to the silence. Ready? One. Two, three. There is clearly a plane. Clearly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ice cave done. What do you think? I'm absolutely amazed. I, uh, so I was saying this to you. I think you're off camera earlier. Um, I used to read the Scrooge McDuck comic books when I was a kid. There is one that has uh, stuck in my head. It's one of Don Rose's, and. This was like I remember seeing this as art in one of those comic books and looking into one of those just like I've seen something like this before and now I'm here. Now and it's a really weird nerdy reference to make, <laughs> but I'm just so You're in Scrooge McDuck's ice cave. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll I'll take that. Very cool. Alright, let's go fly around.
All right, guys, so that was our day with Tom Scott, Tom Rule Breaker, Rebel Maker Scott, who will go into an ice cave despite explicit instructions not to. Uh huh. What'd you think? I mean, you went to the ice cave first. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so if I jump off a bridge, you'll jump off a bridge, Tom? If the, with adequate safety equipment? Sure. <laughs> I had a great time. Thank you so, so much. Like, that is. Thank you, I have, November Hotel, right I have never seen anything like that. Charlie, cleared for takeoff. And nor right, right. really will you. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's bucket lift stuff. Yeah, how long till that melts? I, I'm not going to go in there. Once, uh, once I start seeing visible uh, water running uh, into that cave, uh, uh, I'm going to call that shortly. done. So, a couple Thank months. A month and a half. We're a whole short of runway 08, right? For me, anyways. <laughs> it, it'll collapse, I think, in August. Yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Um, so I am seriously Alpha, Papa, Tower, considering Charlie, line up a weight runway zero eight right. Uh, maybe uh, Broadway, in Michael a Michael. year from now or so, there's a um, Chuck 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 something up Chuck 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 and anyways, there's a guy who uh, was uh, North America's first ever aerobatic helicopter pilot for the wow. Red Bull team. And he Mike Alpha Papa Tower, straight out departure from the intersection and Charlie Clerk to take off runway zero. His right. own um, helicopter up. aerobatic school. So that would be something I yeah. would love to do, and I think it would be a very cool um, thing to document doing by aerobatics license. Then finding a helicopter that'll do aerobatics is yeah. the next problem because not doing it in this thing. 